Magandang umaga, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Kilalani natin ang isa sa tatlong bagong scientist mula sa Industrial Technology Development Institute ng Department of Science and Technology. Maya-maya lamang yan, kaya tutok lang. Akin pong personal na inaanyayahan ng publiko na makilahok sa pagdiriwang ng National Science and Technology Week sa July 11 to 15, 2017 sa World Trade Center sa Pasay City. Sa taong ito, ang tema ng pangkalahatang pagdiriwang ay Science for the People sapagkat nararapat na ipabatid sa mamamayan na nagmula sa dunong at pagpupunyagi ng tao ang mga bunga ng agham at teknolohiya. Dahil diyan, nararapat din lamang na paglingkuran ng aghama teknolohiya ang interes at pangangailangan ng tao ng sambayanan. Sa World Trade Center, makikita sa mga interactive booth displays ang mga pinakahuling research advances. Hindi lamang ng DOST kundi pati na rin ng iba pang mga ahensyang gumagawa ng cutting-edge innovations. Meron ding mga scientific fora lectures at product demonstrations na pwede niyong puntahan. Sa National Science and Technology Week, pinagtitibay ng DOST at ng Pangbansang Agham at Teknolohiya ang kanyang matatag na suporta sa Republika ng Pilipinas, sa administrasyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte at sa lipunang kanyang kinabibilangan. Magkita-kita tayo July 11 to 15, World Trade Center, para sa National Science and Technology Week. Australian aid cuts may hit Asia-Pacific development. No more about this global news from SciDev.net. Dito lang sa Global Science. Australian aid cuts may hit Asia-Pacific development. The development sector in some of Asia-Pacific countries may take a hit as Australia's Official Development Assistance, or ODA, is forecast to decline further in real terms in the next four years, continuing its sweeping foreign aid cuts in recent years. A budget for 2017-2018 stands at 2.90 billion US dollars, down from its peak of 3.87 billion US dollars in 2012-2013. Aid will slightly rise in 2018-2019 to 2.98 billion US dollars, but it will then be frozen for the next two years, a decline of 3.4% in real terms. The move is said to be in line with the consumer price index and to help fund other policy priorities. Robin Davis, Associate Director at Australian National University's Development Policy Center says those priorities may be security related. He says that the government's apparent determination to draw a connection between the cuts announced in this year's aid budget and the expansion of Australia's national security apparatus sends a message that the objectives of Australia's aid program are increasingly bound up with national interests, particularly security interests. However, Australian Council for International Development, or ACFID's Chief Executive Officer, Mark Purcell says that diverting aid to intelligence agencies and military hardware is a short-term approach and fails to recognize the value of education, health, and governance programs that tackle the root causes of poverty, inequality, and instability over the long term.
the Civil Service Commissioner and Scientific Career Council or SCC Chair Alicia De La Rosa Bala through SCC Executive Secretary and National Academy of Science and Technology Director Luning Ning E. Samarita Domingo officially conferred the Scientist One rank to three researchers from the Industrial Technology Development Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. With their conferment, DOST ITDI now has 11 scientists in its roster at asahan natin na ito ay patuloy pang madaragdagan sa mga susunod pang taon. At upang mas makilala pa sila at ipaliwanag pa sa atin ang karangalang kanilang natanggap, makakasama po natin ngayong araw ang isa sa tatlo nating bagong scientist. Please welcome the Deputy Director for Research and Development of DOST ITDI, Dr. Annabel V. Briones. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning po, Ms. Jel. Ayan, ayan, syempre, congratulations, ating bagong scientist. First of all, syempre, konting refresher lang tayo, ma'am, about na, sa kanyang office, ang ITDI. ITDI is one of the R&D institutes of the Department of Science and Technology. It is Industrial Technology Development Institute. And is, its mission is to make uh, local industries globally competitive. Mm -hmm. So we offer uh, technologies that are cost effective, innovative, and appropriate technologies that will make the industries globally competitive. At kayo mismo sa ITDI, anong department ang hinahawa ka ninyo? Uh, bago lang po akong na-promote mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as the Deputy Director for R&D, mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm also the officer in charge of the chemicals and energy division, kung saan ako uh, nanggaling as chief of okay. the division. Mm -hmm. So in ITDI, we have five R&D divisions, which is the uh, environment and technology division. We have the food processing division. Mm -hmm. We have the material science division. And my division, which is the chemical and energy division, and then we have the packaging technology divisions. Okay. So aside for the R&D divisions, we have our technical services that offers uh, tests and analysis and support um, activities to the industries like the standards and testing divisions. We have the National Metrology Laboratory and we have the Technological Services Division who does the technology transfer and commercialization of the technologies that are being developed by the R&D uh, division. Ayun, talagang napakalawak ng ITDI. Pero ma'am, kayo ba, ilang years na kayo na naglilingkod sa ITDI? Uh, I started in 1984 as okay. a regular employee. Sobrang but tagal. Hindi <laughs> ko na bibilangin na. <laughs> so about 33. Uh -oh. 33 years, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. About that. Pero nagtapos kayo, syempre ito na, personal talk na to, kayo, nagtapos kayo sa uh, ano kurso? I'm a BS Chem graduate mm -hmm. sa Xavier University, which is Cagayan de Oro City. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was born in Balingasag, Misamis Oriental. Ang layo. Ang layo. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I taught first in a uh, university, a uh, college in Cagayan uh, de Oro City before I I work in uh, DOST. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pero bakit nyo napili ang kursong chem? Uh, because I'd like to do experiments. Okay. <laughs> I like to do uh, magkuting-ting-ting. Uh -oh. So bata pala kayo ma'am, hilig nyo na talaga yan. Yes. Ang science. Yes. Talagang minahal nyo na agad. Ang science. Uh, actually, my father, mm -hmm. ang gusto niyang ipakuha sa akin kasi I'm a girl daw, mm -hmm. uh, mag-HE ka. Oh, okay. <laughs> economics. Oh, oh. Yan ang sabi niya sa akin. And then, uh, when I graduated from high school, I was in a dilemma of going into an engineering course or BS Chem. Mm -hmm. So, ayaw niya akong payagan na I will uh, study in Cebu. Kasi andun yung engineering, chemical engineering course na in-offer. At that time kasi, uh, there was no engineering uh, sub, uh, courses offered in Xavier, mm -hmm. Cagayan de Oro. Mm -hmm. So, hindi niya pinayagan kasi ma malayo. So, kasi another island. So, I, I opted to study 
uh, BSCM in Xavier University. Okay. So, pero pinurso mo pa rin? Yung gusto mo talagang kurso? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I I got my masteral at the University of Santo Tomas, mm -hmm. MSCM. Okay. And after that, I um, got a scholarship from the GSPS, uh, Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, where I did my uh, PhD in engineering at KU University in Tokyo, Japan. Wow, napagandang opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being being at uh, DOST. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so Pero at it provides the opportunity. Yes, diba? Yeah, oh. to study, to learn, and to uh, to do R and D for the benefit of mankind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pero at this point, masasabi mo na ba after all these years, syempre habang nag-aaral ka, yung palang pagpasok mo sa kurso na gusto mo talaga at natinahak mo, although hindi gusto ng, ng father mo, <laughs> ano yung masasabi mong greatest achievement na, na natanggap mo na o na, na uh, commit in, mo na? In terms of profession, mm -hmm. siguro professionally, I grow because I, I finish I got my PhD degree. Okay. And uh, during that time, hindi ko naman... Kinano, <laughs> nung kabataan pa, and then the the superiors at that time encouraged us or to to pursue higher studies because mm -hmm. we need that, uh, mm -hmm. especially that you're working here in in DOST. And uh, major achievement din siguro at this point in my life, uh, the acknowledgement that I got from the National Research Council of the Philippines as being one of the uh, National Achievement Award for this year. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, being a mother. <laughs> being a mother. Yes. Napakalawang yan, ma'am. Yes, being a mother. and At the same time, <laughs> career person ka rin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I, I've got uh, three kids. So, isas din yan sa major achievements that I got and a blessing also. Mm -hmm. Aside yun. from the professional that uh, achievements that I got. Pero being a mom, at the same time, professional ka din, paano mo binabalance yung oras? Um, time management lang. <laughs> and then, um, I, I usually uh, train my kids to be independent. Yes. So, lumaki silang hindi nakadepende sa akin. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. kasi I was uh, not uh, almost in the house or at home. Mm -hmm. Say during my younger days, I, I do tech transfer, so I travel uh, mostly. And then, nag at the same time, then uh, nag, uh, nag accept din ng mga trainings abroad. Mm -hmm. So, hindi nila ako masyadong <laughs> nakikita. <laughs> nakikita. Sa bahay. But I make it a point na kung nandyan sa bahay, talagang tulo ba nila. Nanay ka talaga. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. Uh, through the phone, the time, oh. and then letters, kasi hindi pa uso nun yung email, email oh. <laughs> at that time. <laughs> well, I was uh, having a scholarship in Japan for a year. Mm -hmm. So, hindi, that was 1996, 97. Mm -hmm. So, hindi pa uso yung mga email, Facebook. Social media, uh, di ba? Wala hindi pa. pa. So, mm -hmm. uh, phone, and then uh, letters. <laughs> Ayun, oh. At least tuloy-tuloy yung communication, di ba? Kahit nasa malayang lugar ka, di may kita point na nasusubaybayan mo pa rin yung mga anak mo. Yeah. At syempre ma, medyo bibitinin mo natin yung ating mga taga-subaybay okay. dahil mas kikilalanin pa natin si Ma'am Annabelle, di ba? As one of our new scientists. Ma'am, sa pagbabalik na namin, mas kilalanin pa natin si Ma'am. Manatili kayo yung nakatutok dahil tuloy-tuloy lang ang ating pakikipagkwentuhan kay Dr. Briones. Magbabalik pa ang DOS TV Science for the People. Ako si Jen.
Jeff Gaitan, Jing Tiam Su, Danilo Flores, Jerry Timbangan, Ako si Fernando Dagok Jr., Ako si Maricor Floro, Ako si Josie Buwan, Paul Soriano, Isa akong artista, Sugar Artist, Isang Hydrologist, Deputy ng Barangay Security Force, Ito sa kayo kilala enthusiast, Restaurant Head Cashier, Food Vendor, And I'm a Filmmaker, Pinoy ako, 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 On Time ako. Nagbabalik po ang DOS-TV Science for the People. Kasama pa rin po natin ang ating bago scientist from DOST-ITDI, Dr. Annabel Vibriones. Alright, Dok, pagpatuloy natin ang ating usapan. Ito naman, about your conferment. Pero syempre, 33 years di ba, na nasa ITDI ka after ng itong mahabang panahon. Ano yung uh, pwede ka siguro mag-side sa amin ng ilang mga account mo, contribution mo sa community? Um, the biggest maybe contribution that I have uh, done for the community, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the published papers okay. that I was able to do, and in recognition na rin yan dun sa pagiging scientist. Yes. Okay, it's mm -hmm. uh, a number of the published papers or scientific papers that you have done. And then... Um, the uh, patents also okay. for the technologies that we have developed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, technologies that we were able to commercialize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pero yeah. syempre marami kang pinagdaanan, hindi ba? Sa loob ng mahabang panahon, bago mo na <laughs> narating itong uh, as a scientist one, as a scientist, new scientist ng ating bansa, mm -hmm. hindi ba ma'am? Pero ito ba naging motivation mo in a way? para at least maging successful tayo sa araw-araw natin ginagawa? Um, actually, isa din ito sa motivation kasi this is a, another uh, career path mm -hmm, mm -hmm. na hindi ka tutungo dito sa more on administrative but you go into the uh, R&D uh -huh. as being scientist because you have to, to do research. Mm -hmm. And so, ito na rin yung motivations kasi um, my mentors and the superiors before were also scientists in their own field at mm -hmm. the time. And so, kumbaga, kami na yung na another batch kasi halos sila nag-retire uh, na. Okay. So, kami ngayon yung first batch of ITDI. Na mm -hmm. We were so lucky that we were qualified kasi hindi naman din biro yung um, uh, screening process and then the criteria na to be able to be a scientist. Ayun nga, pwede, so, pwede yung yung... Siya yes, ma, paano ba naging sistema doon? Um, ano yung naging requirements? It's the number of scientific papers that okay. have been published in, in an international journal. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, number of patents. And then, number of technologies that you have commercialized or, or patents or published papers that have been commercialized or adopted by a technology taker, mm -hmm. which is already in the market. And then other uh, criteria, which are uh, you are a the r and projects that you have done, not necessarily that you have published it. Uh, it depends, no? Mm -hmm. But mostly it's more on the scientific publications and the patents and uh, commercialized technologies. Mm -hmm. And then the others, the rest are uh, papers presented abroad or as oral presenter or as poster presenter. Ano naramdaman mo nung nalaman mo na isa ka sa mga bagong scientist? Um, it was a, a fulfillment okay. <laughs> for, for uh, a dream kasi medyo uh, when we submitted our papers, that was in 2015, I think. Okay. Oh, din, mama, yeah, so, so yun, the process was uh, took Two years. so long. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we will be officially conferred this June 19 okay. at uh, Lock Hotel. Mm -hmm. 
for the this uh, recognition as a scientist. Anong nararamdaman mo? Siyempre, of course, aside from fulfillment, meron bang pressure ngayon na uh, <laughs> nararamdaman? Yeah, uh -huh. because you have to to do uh, as a scientist mm -hmm. what is being expected for you. Kasi yes. every uh, year, there will be a evaluation on the, your performance mm -hmm. as a scientist. And uh, to do more... Uh, research work, uh, also the publications. And, and Para madudoble yung kasalukoy mong ginagawa, ganun ba yun? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then not only that, uh, I feel also that I am empowered more because mm -hmm. of being uh, recognized yes. for the for the hirap then and the uh, performance that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, finally recognized as scientist one and then um, the incentives also that we will be also getting, the benefits of being a scientist. And we are also being as the inspiration mm -hmm. for the younger staff yes. to, to strive also more and then to follow our, the, the path that we are uh, now, that mm -hmm. we are in, we're mm -hmm. following now as the, as in the scientific career path. So it's not only uh, the empowerment, and then we serve also as the inspiration to the younger staff to mm -hmm. do the same. Mm -hmm. Totoo naman yan, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Siyempre sa kabuan, ano yung may mga pagbabago, of course, sa personal life mo, ito sa career mo, ano na yung naramdaman mong pagbabago agad? Uh, the respect. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I earned the respect, and then um, the fulfillment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now finally, we were acknowledged and recognized, and to strive more mm -hmm. and to to aim high. <laughs> kung kung nasa 100 percent yung dream namin, higher pa. <laughs> ano na sabi ng pamilya mo? Uh, my family are so happy and proud of me <laughs> for for what I have achieved. Kasi because without also their support and their help hindi ko rin naman ma, ma mm -hmm. to kung saan ako ngayon. And I also would like to thank also my colleagues yes. <laughs> and, and my supervisors, my mentors who helped me along the way <laughs> reaching this goal as mm -hmm. a scientist. Any ideas na pinapatupad na ngayon sa inyong opisi opisina ngayon isa ka ng scientist? Uh, to do more R&D. <laughs> and because we know that uh, science makes our lives more better. Mm -hmm. All <laughs> right. Not better, but for the best. <laughs> oh, ma'am. At talaga namang uh, truly deserving kayo na uh, makamit at talaga may pagkalaob itong karangalan na nakalaan talaga para sa inyo. Parang ano nga yan eh, di ba? Bawi. Lahat ng hirap natin, eto na. Mm -hmm. So, thank you very much to uh, NAST <laughs> and then the scientific career system and as well as to the Civil Service uh, Commission and the Department of Science and Technology to Secretary de la Peña, to Yusek uh, Guevara also who encouraged us <laughs> to apply for the scientific career path and to all my mentors, to all my superiors, Director Azanza and to my colleagues, my co-chiefs, uh, in ITDI and to my staff and to all, to all of my family, <laughs> thank you very much for the support and to, to God also for this wonderful blessings. Thank you so much, ma'am, and congratulations thank and you, good luck. You. More power pa po sa inyo at sana sa mga susunod na uh, pagkakataon, babalik kayo dito pagka meron na kayong mga bagong proyekto. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. And That's baka so meron pa kayo huling ano, uh, gustong batiin, uh, <laughs> ano pa ba, encourage natin siguro din yung ating mga kabataan ngayon na tahakin din ang inyong tinahak na yeah, we encourage, sa science. Yeah, we encourage the uh, high school graduates or college graduates to pursue a masteral course and doctorate <laughs> courses in science, natural sciences, or engineering mm -hmm. to become also scientists. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po.
Thank you also. And welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Ayan mga kaibigan, nagpapasalamat po tayo na kasama natin ngayong umaga si Dr. Briones. And of course, congratulations po sa inyong bagong confirmant as Scientist 1. Makikilala pa natin ang dalawa pa sa mga bagong scientist ng DOST ITDI sa mga susunod na araw. Kaya palagi lang tumutok sa DOST TV. Nagbabalik po ang DOS TV Science for the People. Alamin ang latest update sa lagay ng panahon ngayong araw mula sa DOS TV Pag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Thank you Ms. Jel. Good morning sa iyo. Good morning din sa ating mga viewers ng DOS TV. Wala na po tayong bagyo or low pressure area na binabantayan sa ngayon. Matapos ng malusaw itong binabantayan natin na si Bagyo Marbok, isang low pressure area na lamang at posible nga malusaw ngayong araw. Samantala, for the next 24 hours, kung mapapansin po natin sa ating latest Himawari animation, wala naman po tayong mga significant na cloudiness na posible makapekto sa ating bansa. In fact, maganda po ang panahon ngayong umaga, lalo na dito sa Luzon dahil po sa umiiral na ridge of a high pressure area. Pero sa ngayon po, may mga kaulapan dito sa may parting ni Maropa, hindi naman po ito magtatagal at mga isolated rain showers lamang ito. Silipin muna natin na magiging taya ng panahon for the next 24 hours. Sa buong bansa po, asahan ng bahagyang maulap na kalangitan sa halos buong araw. At mas maganda panahon, lalo na dito sa may northern and central Luzon, dahil po sa ridge or extension ng isang high pressure area. Samantala, pagsapit ng tanghali, asahan pa rin ng mainit at malinsangan na panahon, lalo na dito sa Luzon, kabilang na po dyan ang Metro Manila. Pagsapit naman ng hapon hanggang gabi ay posible na maging maulap, posible rin ang mga pulupulong pagulan o pagkilat pagkulog na hindi naman po nagtatagal ng isa hanggang dalawang oras. Silipin naman natin ang magiging taya ng panahon for the next 24 hours sa ilang key metros and city ng ating bansa. Hanggang sa araw po ng Sabado, asahan pa rin ang magandang panahon sa Metro Manila dahil sa ridge of a high pressure area. Ang temperatura nga lang natin pagsapit ng tanghali, mainit po 34 degrees Celsius at asahan pa rin ang mga pulupulong pagulan pagsapit ng hapon. Sa ating mga kababayan po sa Baguio City at maging sa mga nagbabakasyon, asahan pa rin ang magandang panahon at malamig na temperatura lalo na po sa madaling araw. Maaring umabot lamang sa 17 degrees Celsius. Posible ang mga panandali ang buhos ng ulan pagsapit ng hapon hanggang gabi. Sa atong mga kaigsaunan din ha sa Metro Cebu, asahan din ang bahagyang maulap na kalangitan sa halos buong araw for the next 3 days. At meron lamang mga pulupulong pagulan o pagkidlat pagkulog. Ang ating temperatura pagsapit ng tanghali, 33 degrees Celsius. At panghuli sa ating mga kaigsaunan din sa Metro Davao, bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap naman na kalangitan for the next 3 days. At asahan pa rin ang mga pulupulong pagulan o pagkidlat pagkulog sa hapon hanggang gabi. Temperatura natin maaaring umakyat sa 32 degrees Celsius. Para naman po sa lagay ng ating karagatan, wala po tayong gale warning at ibig sabihin yan, banaya ang katamtaman na magiging alon sa halos buong bansa. Ibig sabihin, pwede pwede maglayag ang ating mga kababayan, maging yung may maliliit po na sasakyang pandagat. Si Haring Araw ay lulubog muli, 6.26 ng gabi at muli naman itong sisikat bukas, 5.27 ng umaga. At yan muna latest mula dito sa Weather Forecasting Center ng DOST Pag-asa. Ako po si Benison Estareja na nagsasasabing sa anumang panahon, pag-asa ang magandang solusyon. Happy Wednesday po!
DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSMBFI Building, 318 Santon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITEV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citev.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayo makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOST-TV, the program that delivers science for the people.